Let's settle for the news in details. Persons living with disability in Ghana have today picketed at the Ministry of Roads and Highways to express their unhappiness over government failure to restore them a decent jobs as well as also to restore their monthly allowances following the closure of various um, tolls in the country last year. Finance Minister Ken Oforiata on the 17th day of November 2021 announced in his 2022 budget statement and economic policy presentation to Parliament that government has plans of abolishing all road tolls in the country. The government has abolished all tolls on public roads and bridges. Ghana has so far a proximate of 37 rotos, which actually generate a total of 78 million Ghana cities revenue to the nation's coffers annually. However, per the finance minister's announcement, that particular effect took effect the following day, the 18th day of November 2022, by the Roads and Highway Minister Kwesi Amwako. At, um, fast forward, government actually promised that these laid off uh, disability persons who actually man various tools in the country or toll booths in the country would be given an alternative source of employment or perhaps they will be given a monthly allowance. However, according to these particular persons living with disabilities who man the various road tolls, they say that they actually receive their two-month salaries and that has been it. However, from the start of 2022, from January till date, they have not received anything and anytime they engage government, they promise that they will actually meet their terms of conditions or service at the appropriate time. However, today, these persons living with disability are picketing at the Ministry of Roads and Highways to demand justice for what is due them. They say they are here on two conditions to first of all require government to expediently meet them with their decent job uh, proposed or promised as well as meet them or satisfy them with their monthly salaries or allowances promised them. It all is that uh, since the budget was read they only gave them two months salary and from January to the June no salary has been given and also they promised them of giving them a, or getting a replaceable job for them and as of now nothing has been done so we are here to ask the minister what is going on and what they have for us mm. so so for how are these people able to at least manage family life and then social life as well since salaries has not been given so far yeah this is a ethic and a serious uh, question if uh, to talk of it or uh, most of the institution are not even ready to offer any employment to persons with disability so you could see that uh, we are struggling on our own from any angle that we can get something to take care of and as of now most of their children are even at home without even uh, getting money to pay their school fees and even to talk of it or to get a square daily meal is a big problem uh, if nothing will be done or this issue is not being resolved and i think the next movement that is going to happen is uh, we are going to demonstrate the whole entire ghana for them to know what is going on with the persons with disability in your opinion, do you think that the cancellation of the abolishment of the uh, road tools, which actually generates a total of 78 million to the country's coffers, in itself was a wrong move in the first place? Yeah, it was a wrong move before you put somebody off from work. There should be a replaceable job for the person before you lay them off. Because when they go home, you promise to give them salary each month and they only give them two month salary and to talk of it or those people living home or with their families what do you expect them to eat or to to live with it's a big problem I have about four children as I'm speaking to you in fact when you come home um, it's very it's a, it's a hell there's nothing to sometimes our children are not able to go to school they are in a home they can't get money to go to school. In fact, it has become a big problem to us now. And now we, that's why we are here. We want the minister to come to our aid, to speak for us, because in fact, it is too bad for us. Would you wish to go back to the road toll again, or you would wish for another alternative? Um, if the government can give us other alternatives, we would like that. 
and also we like if they if they are ready to give us a tool, we like to be in the tool. But they always tell us the thing is in the pipeline. We don't know when it is coming out from the pipeline. What is in the pipeline? And they said that the, the work is in the pipeline. They will be they are the gathering the yeah, alternatives. Yeah, they are gathering it. But now we want it to come out so that we see what is happening actually for us to go on. Yeah. Okay. Life is very very unbearable for us as persons uh, who were out of the tool work. And we are not able to cope with it. That's why we are here to let the minister know that the promises that he gave, we are in for it. Well, it's been a while since he started telling us that they are on process, they are on process, more than seven months now. Up to now, we've not seen anything. So we are here to let him know that life is very, very, very unbearable uh, within the persons living with disability who were suspended from the two work. You have children? I have two children. How do you take care of them? It's not easy. As I'm talking to you, they are not going to school due to lack of financial support. They are at home. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm because